Most people know that higher SEER ratings for an air conditioner will save them money on their electric bills. But how much can you really expect to save? Let's put some actual numbers behind this thought. There are plenty of articles about what SEER ratings are for air conditioners and heat pumps, so I'm not going to dive into that topic. But briefly, a SEER rating is a maximum efficiency rating like the miles per gallon on your car. What are the SEER ratings that are being seen on today's equipment? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Some of the heat pump systems that have come out since 2020 offer up to 25 SEER as well. As of 2022, most states in America are still mandated to install equipment with a SEER rating of 14. There are some northern states that are still able to squeak by with 13 SEER systems, and that's because their summers aren't as long or as intense as they are here in the southern states. How much money can I save by upgrading to a higher SEER rating air conditioner or heat pump system in my home? The average cost of electricity in the summer here in Sacramento, California is around 24 cents per kilowatt hour. So between 14 SEER and 20 SEER, you'll save about 6 to 7% when you go from 14 to 15 to 16, all the way up to 20 SEER. Take a look at these charts that I made for you, considering a three ton system, that's 36,000 BTUs, and you have a house around 1,500 square feet that's fairly well insulated in the attic and exterior walls. I created a calculator with some formulas that customers can use to play around with these numbers too. You can find it here on foxfamilyhvac.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description area of this video as well. Just give me a few weeks to get it posted on my website since I created it here in July of 2022. Let's compare it to your older 10 SEER systems. A lot of systems that have been running since, let's say, 1995 to 2005 are probably running around 10 SEER. They may have started out at 12 SEER or something like that, but systems lose efficiency through wear and tear over the years. So most people agree that their system is running around 10 SEER now as they're looking to buy a new system. So right now, with 14 SEER being the lowest, customers will also be offered options for higher rated systems like 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And yes, some systems are even higher. But let's look at how much you might save by upgrading from your 10 SEER system to a modern 14, 16, 18, or 20 SEER system. You can see how upgrading your older 10 SEER system to pretty much anything today is going to save you money. Even $250 in savings each summer just by switching from an older system to a standard single stage 14 SEER system sounds great. Upgrading to an 18 to 20 SEER system can save you double that each summer. Once again, these are all numbers based on fairly well insulated homes where the system is installed correctly and the size of the system is right. If you were given some options from your HVAC salesman, something like 14 SEER, 16 SEER, 18 SEER, and 20 SEER systems, you might be thinking, well, what kind of savings would I get if I buy a 16 SEER over a 14 SEER system? From the chart, you'd save about $79 a summer with a 16 over a 14, and that's at 24 cents per kilowatt hour, a 13% savings. Over 10 years, that's $793. And assuming your system lasts a full 20 years, which is a good long life, you'd be looking at around $1,587. You can mess around with the SEER comparison calculator that I made to get a good idea of what you'll save here in California based on the average rate of $0.24 cents per kilowatt hour at summer rates. Real quick, I just wanted to go over some of the testing requirements to calculate the SEER. So the industry standard for testing includes a high speed test at 95 degrees Fahrenheit outdoor temperature and another at 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Two stage and variable speed systems add a low speed test at 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Each of these tests is done for 30 minutes and is performed three times to get an average. I always thought they just calculated these numbers at high speed, including the variable speed units and that typically run at their lower speeds for longer periods of time, but I guess they do include the low speed test, which factors in to the ultimate efficiency of the system. There are way more considerations though when calculating these SEER ratings. Some of the terms and testing they use are voltage tolerance, low temperature, insulation efficiency, condensate disposal, maximum operation of 115 degrees Fahrenheit, extra high maximum operation of 125 degrees Fahrenheit, which is an optional test, 
wet bulb, dry bulb, piping length, a proper refrigerant charge, and proper installation of the system. Even just looking at some of the equations these guys use to determine the SEER ratings is crazy. Look at these. And that's just one calculation and the considerations for determining it. As I scroll down the page on the AHRI document that I was reading, I have to use the roller on my mouse to scroll down five or six more times down the page just to get to the end of this section of equations. So often when people ask Google what the SEER rating is, they're just told like it's a measurement of how much cooling effect they can get for the electricity that they use to cool the house, like miles per gallon on a car. And that's correct. But today I wanted to put some numbers behind how much you can actually save when choosing between today's modern air conditioners. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe and check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.